Well, good morning, Internet. This is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So <clears throat> I'm still working on Blaze, and I'm going to start uh, training with uh, a brush on a stick. Now, as soon as I brought this out, he freaked out. Uh, so you put a stick in a man's hand, and uh, old Blaze doesn't like that. So I'm being charitable. He was kept with 25 sheep, and I said, well, if the fact he kicks and he's aggressive is... Uh, because he was fed with 25 sheep and so he's trying to keep away. The fact of the matter is, is this kind of twitchiness leaves me to believe that um, he's been abused. <laughs> I don't know how to say that now. He's uh, an adopted horse to me, so I don't know his history. But I do know that if I uh, mistreat him, uh, he's a lot of muscle and he would not tolerate it. So let's see if I can... Um, my goal here is it to aggravate him with a brush, obviously. My goal is to desensitize him. So let, let me work on how a horse should be. Here We got old Hank here. We got old Hank. Let's take care of old Hank. Oh, that feels good. You see, I could brush under him. I could do his leg. He's got a bunch of flies. Let's do that. Uh, did you see uh, Blaze spook there? So I, I was hoping that I could touch him with this today, but uh, today's just going to be a day of uh, getting him used to seeing it. I'm a big believer in uh, pair bonding horses to train. Up my horse. So Blaze just isn't safe to handle. He, he's not safe to handle. I can't. I'm getting there with the front legs. He, he doesn't flick them anymore. But uh, my gosh, to be kicked in the teeth by him, him would be uh, probably um, life ending. So um, anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Let's work on old Hank. So Blaze can see there's no, no risk. Blaze is super curious. He's a good horse. So he'll watch me do this and see whether or not I'm mean. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, oh my gosh. Them flies, they bite you down there. Let's take care of that. Continue to brush out, scratch old Hank here. Oh, that's got to feel good. His, this modeling, that's his winter coat coming out, just like a dog, and his summer coat coming in. Let's scratch him here again. Oh, that felt so good earlier. Oh, it feels good again. Look at that. Look at that place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can see that old Hank likes it. I'm not going to be mean to you. I won't hit you. You can see, see? Oh, see? Look at old Hank. He loves it. He loves it. Yes, sir. Let's brush his face. Oh, look how he likes his little lips brushed. Oh, that feels so good. Yes, it does. This is just a new brush, and I'm not going to whack you with it. No. No, I won't whack you with it. I won't whack you with it. I thought he might be more tolerant of this brush. This is the first day of introducing it. But what I'm going to use it for on Blaze is get him acclimated where I can do this on his back legs without getting kicked it's getting to be bot fly season and those are terrible bot flies are terrible so if i can't take care of them i'll be in trouble so um now he's he lets me get with his front but man he hates he hates uh me touching his back legs all right 
He hates it, me touching his back leg. All I'm doing is brushing. It's just a new way to brush. I promise I won't hit you. I promise. You want to sniff it? Go ahead. You can sniff it. I won't hit you. Now, fortunately, Blaze does like uh, people. He, this, um, somebody has broken him. <laughs> He's curious. He's a good horse. Uh, so I'll have him sniff it. I'll have him, uh, you know, get acclimated. Notice he's, he's not running away anymore. When I first, you saw he scooched away as soon as I put this in my hand. And then what I'll do, I'll train him. I'll do big, fast, scary. That's scary to a horse. Uh, they, he doesn't know what, he doesn't have arms. He's never seen that in his whole life. And so if I could get him used to big, sweeping, energetic uh, movements, then he and I both will be safer. But um, I've been working with a regular brush and he lets me now brush all the way back to his quarter haunches. Okay, you know, he's not, he's not super excited about human contact anymore. Like old Hank here, give, give you hugs, right? Hank, give you a hug. Uh, I've gotten 10 or 15 hugs out of Blaze. But I get a hug every day out of old Hank. He'll come up every day and give me a hug. I hope he lives to be 60. He's 32. So for those of you who are just tuning in. And uh, so he and I have known each other in the past before I ended up with him on this ranch. And my daughter got old Hank. She's been taking care of him. And she and I together have got him all fixed up. I can't say he was adopted. He's not adopted. He just had a, an interesting life. I understand he is a rodeo horse, so his, his knees are shot. He moves stiff. Um, and then somebody had him, uh, took him from uh, my daughter, and uh, wasn't going to give him back. Was uh, had him pay, you know, penned in and starving old Hank to death. So we had to have the law get involved and get old Hank back. So that's good. And now old Hank is happy. Back to happy. He was skittish when I first got him too. Some that mean man. Cowboys aren't okay. <laughs> they're not. They're not okay in the head. Uh, they they they've forgotten how to be kind. I don't know why. Not all cowboys. There's a lot of good trainers on uh, the internet. I enjoy watching them. They're very good. So I'm going to step away and get my uh, pumice stone so I can get the bot flies off of Hank and see if Blaze pushes Hank out of his spot and then I'll be able to use the stick on Blaze a little. So we'll see about that. can't come straight at yeah I love you too you can't come straight at a, uh, a horse you know they're a, a prey animal so you got to kind of approach one especially one like blaze that has an unknown history but obviously is uh, skittish and I, I say he was abused but maybe he's just doing what his instincts tell him to do maybe he has never been abused and he's always been twitchy you know <clears throat> Horses are, are all different. They all have different temperaments. And, uh, you know, I just tickled Hank there. And, uh, you know, he's, he knows that it's okay. But if I tickle Blaze, I'll get a retaliatory bite or a uh, kick. And it used to be real bad. And it's not nearly as bad as it once was. There we go. 
So I found that pumice stone is the best way to get rid of bot flies on a horse. Of course, you do you. Some people shave them off, but I, I do this. Uh, and it's just your regular pumice stone. There I am. I shouldn't let, I say this all the time about Hank, I shouldn't let him claim me as his, right? That's what that is. He's taking his little scent gland and going, oh man, I love you so much. Uh, but it's adorable and I'm actually stronger than Hank. Uh, sometimes I push back, I hear his no, his neck bones, because he's old, I hear him go crack, 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 like a chiropractor. Crack, 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 crack. So. But uh, he's a good old boy, that's for sure. That's for sure. You want to sniff? You want to sniff the brush? It's not to hurt you. I'll never hurt you. I won't hurt you with it, I promise. It's just a brush. That's all it is. It's just a brush. So I can brush up high. That's a brush up high. So, uh, still not get anywhere on Blaze. <laughs> He's not having the big stick. <laughs> That's for sure. A man with a stick is a risk. He's not willing to take, get off my horse, get off my horse. I'm try, just trying to get rid of that guy. Did I get him? All right. We'll try another approach with Blaze. I'm gonna leave the stick right here by, under my tripod, propped up. I'm going to give Hank a treat and we'll see if Blaze comes over. And then I'll brush Blaze. Come on, Blaze. Come on, I won't hit you. Oh, he's gonna eat them all. You're gonna let Hank eat them all? You shouldn't do that. Here. So yesterday I could handle Blaze, but I put a stick in my hand and today I'm, ba I'm back to ground floor. I'm back to ground floor. See how far he'll stand off? If I walk after Blaze, he'll give up on me and he'll, he'll just walk away and, uh, you know, I don't put a halter on him most of the time, so I'm not going to fight him. No, you let Blaze have some. Come here, Blaze. Let me get a couple more treats and we'll, you'll see I'll, I'll coax Blaze in and uh, get them both standing near each other. And because uh, Blaze has got some horses, uh, some flies bugging him too. That's not edible. That's, you can't eat that. Neither one of these things are edible. And I wish you wanted to have done that. That's to kill bot flies, not eat and get bot flies. Here, back up. Make a little room. Get you back. Good boy. All right, so I backed up uh, Hank, and now I've got Blaze here. I've got a stick nearby, but it's not in my hand. I'm reacclimating him to uh, the idea that I'm a, a friend. But he lost all confidence in me when I, I picked up that stick. All confidence. That's to get rid of flies. Yes, sir. So now I'm back to ground floor, helping him. Understand, I'm not gonna hurt him. Isn't it funny? He's a big dude and he's so worried about a man with a stick. So 
now that I scared him, I'm gonna I'm gonna be super careful not not to uh, not to push him any farther. You guys want some more treats? That's just to get rid of hot flies. See, that's all that is, just a scratch. So I'll give him. You can watch me. I'll brush him for a little bit, and then I'll go get the fly spray, and then one more time I'll try the. Uh, try this stick but he's already pretty much done with me you want me to get them flies I'll get them flies no you come here for a treat buddy I'm doing camera work come here guys come here I should have a table here to make it a little easier on me. There you go. You're the one that I'm showcasing today. You're the special one. Yes, sir. You're the special one. Oh, that's good stuff, isn't it? This is to treat flies. And this is a treat to eat. Yeah. Let's see here. See, he thinks I'm I'm being mean to him, even the fly treatment. He thinks I'm being mean. I'm not. Yes, I'm helping you. I'm getting rid of flies. See, it doesn't hurt. Not, not hurt. But it's been six months of hard work on this horse to even get him to uh, to try. You know, once uh, stuff gets in my hand, that's when he loses faith and confidence. See how he stands way off, and I don't know. He's such a good horse that I really regret that somebody who wasn't uh, talented enough had handled him. And, uh, you know, he's a big scary thing. He's not, he's to be respected. Hank is just a sweetie. Hank is <laughs> the opposite. I'm a big scary thing. <laughs> Hank is just a big sweetie. <laughs> I, I wish I could take Blaze's youth and inject it in Hank and Hank's uh, patience and inject it into Blaze. But alas, <laughs> it is the way it is. Alright, you're in my frame, buddy. You're, you're kind of in my way. I really wanted to work with Blaze today, and you're taking up all the, all the loving. To be honest, I, I knew that uh, it, the presentation of the stick is enough. Um, you know, me move, touching it, and uh, and I, I don't know if you. Uh, Listen, I'm not ever going to ride this horse uh, or anything like that. I don't think I'll ride him. So I don't need to get him to any other place other than safe. And um, I'll get him there. But uh, I'm not going to get hurt getting him there, you know. Because he's just going to react the way his bot mind tells him to react. So um, you like that? It feels good. Right on the chin. Right on the chinny chin chin. So, um... You know, if I if I push him and take him beyond his uh, beyond his acceptable range, uh, he's going to uh, uh, retaliate, and it will be because his brain tells him to. See, he, that once again, just spraying him with fly spray. <laughs> he sees that as me being mean to him. Uh, just the fly spray. Maybe somebody sprayed them with a hose every time they watered them. It feels like there's good training. Like once upon a time, somebody trained Blaze on how to be a rideable horse. And then somebody messed up the day-to-day -day, um, through abuse. So what I'll do, I'll put all this back. I could see uh, just presenting a stick and giving them a treat uh, is where I'm at. I thought I could touch them with this today. Uh, he's not gonna have I, I don't know. He's over there sort of distracted on his thing 
but I'm gonna guess uh, behind there I have a mineral block and that's what he's doing he's licking mineral block I'll walk over with this and sit there on that thing and see if I could touch him or not This is horse training 101, just patience. All right, well, I've been working on Blaze for a little while. Uh, I don't know how much of the video made it through or not through, or probably none of it. Uh, but anyway, I'm trying to get Blaze to accept me with a stick in my hand so I could pet his legs, his rear legs, and um, safely, so eventually I can stop, start, uh, um, cutting his hoofs and taking care of his back end and so here's uh here's old hank you know broom in hand no problem at all and then blaze is just all worried they let him sniff it i'm not gonna hit you with it it's not a hit stick it's not it's a stretchy stretch 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 That's all it is. See how scratchy. Oh, see how he likes that? Alright. Oh thank. His little lip was quivering, he enjoyed it so much. Anyway, I, I suspect that this is enough training, just letting him see me with the stick, giving him some treats, putting some positive uh, connection between a stick and a man doing something kind, instead of just hauling off and bapping him with it. I'll leave it over by his food bowl and he could sniff on it. be in charge of it <clears throat> anyway I need that stick for him to get used to the stick so I could desensitize him touch his rear legs and get him used to accepting rear leg stuff <clears throat> so I'll lay, leave that maybe I'll put it in his food bowl next time I, I give him feed he's not quite ready to accept me but early on when I used to hang things over there like towels they would scare him too and then he got used to them. so I got faith this is gonna all work out all right well this is Steve a thousand year homes on a quiet Sunday taking care of the horses doing a little horse training moving blaze into the next level of handling and care and trust um, Hank, I don't have to move anywhere. He's just full of love and grace. But Blaze just needs a little help. Well, my horses are suspicious. There's cows in my yard. I'm not sure why there's cows in my yard. Brad might have moved his cattle up early. So everybody, I'm working on Blaze with a stick in my hand so in order to desensitize him to a man with a stick. Yesterday was no go. He was not interested. We'll do it today and see if I can do it. No. <laughs> he, uh, there you go. <clears throat> but the reason I want the stick, the broom on a stick, is so that I could touch his rear haunches safely without getting a kick in the face. Are those, uh... I'm not going to hurt you with this, buddy. Anyway, uh, we'll see how all that goes. So, stick training day two. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> all right. Persistence pays off. He's not keen on it, but see, with the broom now, I can safely start working on his haunches without him kicking me in the face. All right? So, uh... I'm really happy. <laughs> so he, he's not. <laughs> but uh, persistence and just being patient and a little at a time, a little at a time. 
And uh, so it's called desensitizing. And I'm slowly desensitizing him. The other place where he is uh, intolerant is um, tickle spots. So, see? There you go. Ah, I missed it. But he threw a leg. He threw a leg. So, um, but I, you know, I pushed him. I, I knew that was outside of his comfort zone. So, uh, but I have to be able to work with this horse safely. So no tickle spots allowed, unfortunately. And he knows that that was bad. So now he's going to be extra spooked. So, uh, but I, you saw I had the broom on him, everybody. Yeah. 